we're back. We got the mower deck up on the uh, bench, so it's easier to work on. We're going to start pulling some of this stuff apart and uh, seeing what we need to do to get it working right. First, we have to grab the right wrench. This is a shoulder bolt. It's supposed to thread into this hole, but the hole's worn out over the years. And I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the best way to fix it. It does have a thread on the top that a nut goes on. It always seems to come loose though, so... I'm going to think about that one for a few minutes while we pull some of the other stuff off. This is supposed to hold the cover on, the belt cover on, but never run it with the belt cover because I've got to mess with the tensioner all the time because it's not working right, so. I don't see much oil in the gear case there. What kind of oil do you use in there? 90 weight. That's topped off. This is your height adjust here. Same problem with this as with the other one, that it's kind of frozen in place. So this one has a roll pin through it, not a bolt.
so we'll clean up that one just like we cleaned up the one on the power drive and uh, think about this hole some more. Be back in a little bit. Alright guys, I think we got this figured out how we're going to fix this. The threads are pretty much gone on this shoulder bolt that goes through here. That's causing some of our problems. So it's a 3 8 thread. Got a nice grade 8 3 8 inch bolt. Got the sleeve material that I bought to do uh, the handles on the drill press in a previous video. This slides in there nice and nice and tight. I wish I had a lathe, but I don't. And it also fits in there. So we're just going to make a bushing to take place of the uh, uh, shoulder part of the bolt. So I got some bluing on here. And I'm just going to shoulder it up here. make a mark. That'll give us our little bush piece and uh, hopefully that'll uh, get us going here again. As far as this wallowed out hole as it goes, I think what I'm going to do is just leave it alone. I'm going to screw into it and then I'm going to put a nut on the top side and that will uh, hold us for now. If that doesn't work, if it start, starts loosening up again, I'll go ahead and I'll put take the TIG welder and put a little bead around here, re-drill it and re-tap it. But I think it'll work for uh, what we're going to do. Times like this, I wish I had a lathe, but I don't, so just have to make do with what we have.
So now we can start putting the uh, adjustment handle back together. Put a little grease on the spring. Drop that in there. Just like before, we'll stick some grease in there. And then we'll grease up the shaft. Okay, looks like everything's good to go. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the blade, give it a quick sharpen. Belt tensioner works again. It's nice and sturdy, it's not wobbling around like it was before. Of course, I don't know if you can tell, but we don't have any brake shoe on the brake here anymore. Gonna have to pick up some kind of brake lining and uh, glue it on there. Uh, I don't know what it had. The piece is riveted in, so it doesn't look like it was a replaceable piece. And it's got some slop in it too, but very rarely do it, does this thing <coughs> come out of gear during the, su during the summer. Um, it's mowing. That's what it's meant to do. We'll give the front wheels a grease. Um, just going to bring you back here in a uh, few minutes when we get ready to put the uh, mower onto the, take the snowblower off and put the mower on. And uh, we'll give you a shot of that. And uh, be back in just a couple minutes. All right, guys, we're ready to uh, buzz this apart. Takes two tools, a 9 16th inch uh, socket with an extension, and a 7 16th. 7 16th is to take, to take the uh, shoot handle off. Yep. You're gonna have you help me lift that down here in a second. Okay. As soon as I finish removing this. All right, so that's off. We're done with that tool. 9 16 inch wrench. There's two bolts, one on each side.
there's two out. I got the handle supported here with a stand that I'm going to let down, let this tip back, and to remove it, you just pop it up and off the bracket. Put the new one on. Alright, let me set, your, set it down. No. Okay. Put it back on. Just pick it up. Set it there. And then you have your handy dandy helper pick up the handles. No, handles. Handles. Not quite so handy I'm just lift up on those and down a little bit. Down. Up. 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 No, hold on down. Now up. There we go. All done. Ready to mow. Bit loose. And that's just how it always is. It's got it flexes right here, and then it twists so it can follow contours. Oh, all right. That's so. why I like it. Yes. All right, guys. All together, ready to go. Um, like I said in the beginning of this uh, series, if you know any of the. Uh, Power team attachments around anywhere for sale? Uh, put it in the comments or hit me an email, woodenmetalworkshop at gmail.com. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the like button, and please leave comments. Thanks, guys. Catch you in the next video.